What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Waxo, and you are tuned in to Waxo, the man, where we all got the plan. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Slam that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. And today, we're going to be taking a look at whether or not I feel as though the IKEA corner desk is worth your money in 2017, this holiday season, or any time that you're watching this video. Um, first and foremost, I'm gonna get straight into everything. I will say yes it is, and I will say no at the same time. Why is that, you ask? Um, because literally, if you want a desk that is super, super sturdy and is going to be something that you can just throw stuff at it and just be rough with it, this is not the desk for you. Now, I'm not saying the desk isn't sturdy, but I mean like if you're gonna be just beating this desk down, do not get it. Um, the desk is very sturdy. I do like that. It's a thick desk. It's not a very thin one like some desks normally are. The legs are really sturdy. They're thick. They're not going to be doing any wiggling, wobbling around as far as what I've noticed. And I've had it for a few months now. But as far as the roughness on it, as I was saying a second ago, you do not want to be rough with this desk. It will cause the paint to chip if you're just dropping stuff, throwing stuff on it. And I'm going to show you guys some of that. Um, but it's sturdy, I, I will tell you that. It doesn't bend, it doesn't bow. But then again, I don't have anything super heavy on this desk. So if you're gonna have like a big screen, big monitor, big everything on the desk, you may run into problems. I'm not for sure. I can't really speak on that, but I feel like in, in most everyday use, you will be fine and you will be okay. And there you have it, guys. This desk does crack. Um, as you can see, um, the paint has chipped right here. Um, I'm not really even sure how much you have to baby this desk. I really feel like I've been doing the utmost as far as babying it, trying to take care of it. And yet you see what I'm seeing right now. And this is on the right side of the desk and it's under my mouse pad now. Um, I purposely put it right there so it wouldn't cause any more problems, hopefully. Um, and then there's even another piece right up underneath it right here um not too far away from it so i've probably just dropped something on it and it just did these little nicks um does it make me hate the desk no does it make me wish i didn't get it no i mean things happen and honestly i feel like if i was just a little bit more careful with the desk these may have never even happened and there you have it crack number three chip number three whatever you want to call it i just wanted to let you guys see all the ones that i've noticed on the desk could have more who knows but these are the ones that i see um and also i want to point out don't don't think that they're really big they're honestly small you know things that have happened they're really tiny honestly but i have a macro lens on my phone that um it's letting me get a little closer up of a picture for you guys um but i'll show you in a little bit about how it looks when you're not so close up to it and here you have it, um, just giving you guys a quick look as far as how they look from about a, you know, a sitting distance away. It, it's really not that noticeable. Um, I just notice everything. And yeah, so maybe you won't even notice if you get a little chip or something in your desk. Maybe something like that doesn't bother you. But with me, eh, unfortunately, it does. But if you take care of this desk and be gentle with it, you shouldn't run into any problems. And if you do run into some problems, it shouldn't be anything major, I hope. Um, there's also some cheap ways you can actually keep a desk looking nice, whether or not you choose this desk or another desk. And that's like um, what I did. I took a puzzle and once it was put together, you can either use some of the rubber cement or you can do what I did and use some packing clear tape and cover the top and the back of the puzzle so therefore it won't move or come apart and then like you can see it right here i'm using it to keep my stuff on and usually i try to keep stuff on this if i'm going to set anything on the desk so therefore what did i just do i protected the top of the desk um nothing's going to be scraping against it and it looks nice it gives like a pop of color you don't have to pick that one i, I just wanted this one because it's a lot of different colors on it and i just wanted something to do a nice contrast with as far as the white of the desk and the color of the puzzle but you can choose whatever you want honestly it's all sorts of different things you don't even have to get this you can just literally go grab you a um super big mouse pad that they sell um and that that'll work just fine too i just wanted to do this for my own personal reasons and there we have it guys my thoughts on whether or not this ikea corner desk is worth your money in 2017 so if you're thinking about getting this desk keep in mind the things that i told you in the video as far as if you're a really rough person on your stuff this may not be the option for you that you want to go with because like i've been saying 
it will cause it to scratch or get chips on it if you're doing some crazy stuff on it as far as dropping stuff, throwing stuff at it. Um, but if you're the type of person that's normally really gentle with your stuff and that part of it won't bother you and you just want a sturdy desk that's going to have enough room for all the things that you need on it. Like, look, right now I have three different things on it. I have a whole freaking puzzle on it. I have enough room for my lamp whenever I want to pull that down and do something. It's literally a perfect desk for me, and I'm pretty sure you will like it as well. Um, hopefully, if you do get it, you don't run into any of the little chips that I ran into. And hey, that'd be great. But if this video helped you out, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel for anything coming up, anything new. Till next time, it's your boy YXL, and I'm out. Peace.